the Align Energy Center likes to get you in and out for a drive through COVID test in about 30 minutes. That was not the case yesterday. Now, some people waited for two or three hours in a line that stretched all the way to the belt line. Today we found out why. Jamie Perez joins us live at Align Energy Center after speaking with the site manager there. Jamie? Right, so yesterday was the first day that they started their new hours. They weren't open for a couple of days, and then they opened at noon yesterday. They said that on top of the increased attention that national media has put on high-profile individuals testing positive for COVID, all of these things played a factor into why the wait lines were so long yesterday. Getting a COVID test is not very pleasant. Mm -hmm. This is going to go both nostrils about an inch in. Are you ready? Yes. But getting to those tests went much better at the Alliant Energy Center today. So yesterday we definitely had unprecedented demand. We ended up testing 3,150 people in eight hours. Testing site director Ken Van Horn thinks there were a number of factors for that high interest, but there was a key change that played into it too. Yesterday was our first day of our new hours. So we weren't open on Monday uh, for the first time since May 11th. Those hours changed as the National Guard hands off staffing to public health. They ended up needing to turn away about 50 cars at the end of last night. Who's next? Yesterday was also the first day that free flu shots were given out in the same space. But Tess Ellens, who runs the flu shot clinic here, said out of more than 3,000 people waiting in line yesterday, fewer than 50 were here for the flu shot. Because of the demand of COVID tests, we found that we were a little bit backed up for a flu vaccine. Um, Today we've worked it out so that it's a separate drive through process. So the wait time is much, much less than it was yesterday for flu vaccine. National Guard troops are still the main staffers here. But Van Horn said they're slowly transitioning them out. As we add employees, the Guard will be taking back. So it's not a simple, they're going to hand off the site to us. Good to go. While public health hires more help, the department expects Tuesday's delays were just an unpleasant fluke. Now they said if we do see another surge in testing demand, public health is asking you to pre-register. They say that that makes the process go by 16 times faster. They also recommend that you don't show up right at the start of the day or at the start of the week because that is their busiest time. Jamie Perez live at Align Energy Center. Jamie, thank you.